Hello guys, Survival Junkie here with a special tutorial in Vintage Story on how to make your very first tools. So let's jump right in and get some of those tools made. You have probably noticed by now that if you try and punch some of these things on the ground with some grass, nothing will drop. If you do the same with the tree, you can also punch that tree until night comes and probably nothing will happen. That means that you probably don't have the right tool for the job. Now if you want to get some tools ready, you have to get the right materials. One of those materials are stones. So let's try and find some stones. These stones can be found laying on the ground. And we have some granite here. Now you can either punch the stone by left clicking and you pick it up. Or if you have an empty slot in your hotbar, you can select that with your mouse wheel. And then by just a right clicking on the stones, you can just pick them up like so. Now what we need are some sticks. Sticks are pretty easy to find on the, on the ground if you go into a forest. But if you're not in, in a forest, you can simply find sticks by punching a couple of these bushes. You'll come across these bushes, these kind of bushes pretty easily. Just some leaf blocks. What we're looking for are those branchy blocks like this one. You can see the tooltip on the top of my screen. Let's punch these branchy leaves. And there you go, you have a stick. Just have to get close and it will automatically be picked up. Let's try and get some more sticks. When you have found enough stones and sticks, you can get started on making your very first tools by napping. Napping means that you can just hit stones against each other to make a shape. So we will start by making a flint axe head. Uh, what you want to do first is press and hold shift to crouch and press the right click to drop your flint in front of you. And now we will select the axe head and what you want to do is point your cursor on the orange grid to get rid of those blocks that you don't need those cubes and by using left click you just hit them and get them out of the way like so you don't need to get them all out of the way like so you just need to hit along the edge of the shape and all the rest will just disappear. Now let's do that again and make another shape. We press and hold shift and you press the right click and then we have another menu popping up and this time we will make a spearhead. Again left clicking just destroy those cubes that we don't need get those out of the way right along the edge and there you have it. We have now a flint axe head and a flint spearhead. We could try and make out of these granite stones a um, knife blade. Yes, let's do that. By using different stone types, you will get different durabilities in your tools. So you can pay close attention to that and experiment. There you go. If you press H on your keyboard, you will have your survival handbook and you can search for the crafting recipes. For instance, let's write knife and we have the granite knife here and it shows you exactly how to assemble your tools in the crafting grid. Now let's just open the inventory and crafting grid by pressing E and let's make our first knife by assembling these two together like so and at the bottom you have your granite knife which has a durability of 45. Now let's do the same but this time with the axe and there you have it. Now we have a flint axe which has a durability of 60 and let's make a spear so we can get some hunting done. And now we have three tools. Very nice. We'll have some resin here. Let's take this 
out by harvesting it. Now, since we have an axe, we can cut this tree down. Before I was just punching it, but nothing was coming out of it, so... Oh, sweet! Now oh, you have some logs and some sticks. Let's select our knife in the hotbar and cut some grass. As you can see, now the grass is dropping some dry grass, but let's just chuck these out since we do not have enough space. And you can see we have dry grass. And that's about it. You have some starting tools. You can get yourself some more materials now and increase your chances of survival. Thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned for some new tutorials coming very soon. Stay safe and of course don't forget to subscribe.